All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Madden NFL 15. Uh, before we get into the game, I've got a couple things to say. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to apologize for this being so uploaded so late in the night. Uh, I had a different work schedule today, uh, 7 to 3:30, and so I don't have any pre-recorded gameplay right now because I haven't had any good days off to record a bunch of stuff. I've been doing it day to day. Um, so this will be up later tonight, so sorry about that. Uh, second thing, I watched the first half of the Packers game last night. And, uh, you know, even in the first half, I can't say that I was too happy. I, I got mad. There was a bunch of stupid mistakes made that shouldn't have been made at all, to be completely honest. And I, so I went to bed at about 10 o'clock, halfway through the game. And I woke up and I checked the score. And, uh, yeah, not happy at all. 31 to 16. Yeah. And they said that the Packers said that they wanted to run 75 plays a game. They didn't show that very well last night. That was pretty bad. Well, on other news, though, let's get into this game. We'll go do our uh, game prep. Receiver coach. The Falcons have one of the best passing defenses in the league. Oh, okay. Just like every other team in this game. I don't think we need to give it to any of them, really. We'll just give it to Manningham and... We'll do that. Still need more production out of the left end. Even though Branch got three sacks yesterday against Brady. Oh, okay, so we'll do those two, like normal, like every week. And then we'll let them do whatever they feel like with the last 16 hours. We'll progress our players. Uh, we're facing the Falcons, I believe, so we'll go check to see who they have injured. Falcons. Oh boy, this is going to be a good game. As you can see, uh, Jason Pierre-Paul is injured as a right end. Uh, Julius Peppers, left outside linebacker. Rashad Jennings, halfback. Chris Ivory, halfback. Billy Wynn, left end. Anthony Johnson, defensive tackle. And Barrett, Barrett Jones as a center. So, we will get into this game now. We are 10 and 2 against the 6-5 and 1 Falcons. Tomorrow I'm back on my regular work schedule, so I should be able to have a video up probably by this time uh, that I'm recording this. It's uh, 4:30 right now. I don't have any pre-recorded stuff, so I'm going day by day right now, which I mean isn't a bad thing, but at the same time it kind of makes things hard because I've got to kind of hurry through things to get them uploaded. But I honestly, I don't do any editing. I just, you know, Hello, everybody. I'm I change the title and the description and stuff and then just upload it. I just use whatever raw footage I have. It's Cooks Packers going up against Selig's Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this week 14 matchup. Yeah, I really can't say I was too impressed about that game last night, though. And Jordy Nelson only got me eight points in my fantasy football. I'm not happy about that either. And I'm really surprised. They didn't move Sherman around at all. They kept him on the same side. The way I see it, as the number one cornerback on the team, they should always be guarding the number one receiver. But almost all game, he was guarding the third string most of the time. So, but no one threw a single, Rodgers didn't throw a single pass towards um, 
Sherman all game. Zero passes were thrown to him. For the opening kick. The leaders of the NFC South are set now to kick it away and get this game started. They're leading the NFC South at 6-5-1. and one. Oh, boy. Robo's trotting onto the field. Another very good season. Already having thrown more than 15 touchdown passes. Oh, where's the pass interference? Tried to fit it into double coverage that time. It wasn't double coverage. The guy could have been wide open, but he got stuck. Surprisingly, their passing attack this year has been rather disastrous. The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and 10. Jordan's there that time for the tackle. It's always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, though. <laughs> Wouldn't they ever? They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. So you better hold on to that when you get hit. Romo sells his play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. First and ten. Uh, now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. And here's the Falcons' defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Gives it to him again, and he's tackled some three yards away from a first down. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. All right, Richardson, get the first down. All right, good. The lead on him. Tackles made and the first down is picked up. would love to run the football in all situations like this when you only need a little bit of yardage to get a first down they show their power there and I'll tell you what this gives the coach a lot of confidence the Packers have it at the 39 and off by Romo he'll be taken down about three yards short of the no Dixon's at, I mean I know I said this last video but Dixon's not that bad have these types of runs yeah it's not a first down but it sends a message it shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. <laughs> I did it too soon. Sometimes you can get away with that and hurdle over people. It's awesome. I love it. More than happy just to catch that football near the line of scrimmage. They all love these type of catches the wide receivers do, but it's good vision by him. He reads the blocks well and picks up good yards. Nice job. Ooh, thread in the needle on that one. Thomas, who brought him down that time. Packers had a nice play design that time and pulled the defense and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. Mounting a serious drive. First and goal from the six. That's second down coming up. Under, under, under. This long drive continues. Richardson, a up the middle. And he gains maybe three. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to... We've literally pretty much taken up all of the first quarter. And this offense is doing it right now. Ah, good. We'll get White a touchdown. The score in the end zone. It's pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in. But the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. Hopefully you guys don't mind what time these videos get uploaded as long as they're uploaded once a day. The Falcons ready to return. I'd honestly to like to try and be consistent about it, but sometimes I really can't with them changing my work schedule all the time. Thomas has got a chance for a return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. 
And now we've got a young quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Uh, you know, Jim, this guy's he's he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status, and, and he keeps playing solid football. So if he goes out here today, oh, why accent he dove? Solid game again today. We're gonna we're gonna start talking about. You mean to do that? Freaking Casey Keenum and the other league that I'm playing right now. He's actually he actually led the league in passing yards. Overrated stat in games many times. It was ridiculous. He had like 4,600 yards or something like that. To pick up those first downs and keep it going. The Packers lined up in the nickel. Falcons front the 37. Keeps it here. Calvin Ooh, get here. Oh, going up against Calvin Johnson. Which reminds me, didn't even check the depth chart. Falcons, okay, so they've got Casey Keenum as a quarterback. Uh, they're using Niall Davis as their halfback. Anthony Sherman as a fullback, who's really good, actually. Calvin Johnson, Vincent Jackson, and Jonathan Baldwin as wide receivers. They're both 99 overalls. Damn. Uh, Brent Selleck as a tight end. Phil Lodeholt as a left tackle. TJ Lang as a left guard. Khaled Holmes as a center. Ugh. Garrett Reynolds as a right guard. Michael Bowie as a right tackle. Alan Bailey as a left end. Piera Jerry as a right end. Nick Fairley as a defensive tackle. Nate Irving is a left outside linebacker. Akeem Jordan is a middle linebacker. Quentin Cobles is a right outside linebacker. Jonathan Joseph and Asante Samuel as a cornerback. Earl Thomas Jr. or Earl Thomas III as a free safety. Marcus Gilchrist as a strong safety. Jay Feely as a kicker. And John Ryan as a punter. And the fact that Joe Feely is one of their captains is ridiculous. Group. Last week, turning the football. Well, they have a kicker as one of their captains. Second down and five. Davis going to take the handoff now. And he is tackled at the 44. This is third down. Johnson's in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Complete to Calvin Johnson. Oh, you idiot. You ran out of bounds. Oh, man, Jim, this just drives everybody. Could have had the first down and kept going. Announcers like you and I. What an idiot. Short and you throw and complete the pass, but it's still not enough to get the first down. God, it's so hot out right now. I find it sad that where I live right now, this first week of September is the hottest week that we've had all summer. And usually September around here starts dropping into like the 60s usually. And it's been like high 80s all week. So it's been really, really humid. And I hate it. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. He's got the I could honestly, I'd rather have it be between like 60 and 75, no humidity all year round. <laughs> well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better If I could find somewhere like that, I'd move there in a heartbeat. Second and six. And Richardson's handed the football. Richardson taken down. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Third down play coming up, and last week that was not an issue as they converted time and time again. Offense lines up here. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Jeremy. Good job, Macklin. Makes the grab. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left, well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns. Why? Why didn't you? He didn't even try and catch that. That would have been a first down, no doubt. Maybe even a few extra yards. Romo's got two But he didn't even attempt to catch that. Richardson, middle, taken down at 
to 33. Good thing I've got Richardson, I guess. Richardson is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Right back to Ooh, that stiff arm, nice. Impressive run by Richardson, and with these incredible rushing numbers, it's no surprise to see this team on top. They are dominating on the offensive line. There's no question about that. They're being very physical, and that's why they're leading this football game. Let's go, let's first down at the 49. Play action. Ah, yeah, he could, I couldn't get it off. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football the left side of the line just they just collapse he doesn't even feel it or see it and he goes down for the sack from the gun Romo who get burned on the money White takes the hit and brought down another first down by the offense the defense is definitely getting fatigued and when you get fatigued you cannot think so look out the Packers take it from the 33. And Richardson's going to secure the handoff. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the front that time. They only give up a short game. Richardson lined up in the backfield. The Packers from the 32 takes another handoff. 53, what are you doing? You let that guy go and then just start going after someone else. Football like this and you show toughness. There is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Two minute warning. Now third and four following the run. Marching down the field and taking their time. Romo's back in shotgun formation. Throws the sniff arm. Gains 13. When you have a lead and your offense is playing like this, what's it do? Gives your defense a great rest. They're loving this drive as they sit on the sideline. Now first and 10. Richardson. Nice, Richardson. That was a nice run. For the touchdown. Capping it off for the touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. We've literally taken up pretty much both quarters with two drives. The Falcons and, kick and I'm not going to complain, but. He'll take it from the one. Davis tackled down at the 17. The Falcons ready to take over the football. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. From the gun. Wagner, nice rock. Is that Wagner? No, no. I saw the four, and I thought it was him. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitz is that was a nice blitz from the outside, though. You can do as a quarterback, but I do have to get those couple of sacks with Will Fork, though. From the gun. Close. In on the stop. You play zone in the NFL. What you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy. Now they're not that good. These type of situations. It's either they're really bad, or my defense is just that good. Maybe it's both. Because I know my defense is good. <laughs> I have a question as well uh, while I'm thinking about this. Besides Madden, are there any other games that you guys would want to see? I mean, I have a bunch of games that I could upload. I mean, record. I've got, I've got a PS4. I've got an Xbox One. As you guys can see, I've got a computer with over 100 games on it right now through Steam. And I have a NVIDIA card that can record the gameplay. They do a nice job that time. They get some good yards, and it's almost the first down. Actually, I've got one game that I think I'm going to download after I get done with this video uh, through 
yeah, yeah, access. I think I'm gonna go and download um, the early access to uh, NHL, the new game coming out. Uh, so I might upload a video of that, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not good at hockey. <laughs> Last time I played a hockey game was two years ago, and it was just the demo, and because I had the EA season pass when they were still doing the season pass. And I can honestly say I was not good at it. But I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try and take advantage of that and do, and uh, go download that tonight. And then after I record a video of this for tomorrow, I'll try and record a video of that. The Falcons ready now to start their next series. Take it here. But really, though, other than that, I mean, I've got a lot of other games. If there's anything else that you guys would want to see, or any upcoming games that are going to be coming out, let me know. I mean, and for the upcoming games, it's more or less if um, if it's a game that I actually want to buy that you guys would want to see. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love playing Madden, but I would at some point like to make my YouTube channel more than just Madden. But, I mean, it's all preference on what you guys really want. It's the way I see it, so. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Quarters formation here for the defense. Allen's got it on the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. First down here after the run. <laughs> Allen's going to take the hit. Nice, Matthews. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down here after that run play. Takes it from the gun. Makes the reception. Wagner's in. I haven't really been able to get off the line with Wagner. Uh, not Wagner. Uh, Will Fork yet. The pass, but it still did not get a first down. Got to get at least one sack with him. I'd like to get two a game for these last few games to try and take the lead. From the shotgun. Whoa. McBride, you just got burned. Champ Bailey just made you his bitch. What a job by the receiver making Excuse my language, but damn. Makes the catch and, and goes all the way for the touchdown. The point after try is in the books. The Falcons will take their spot on the bench after contributing to the cause, especially via the pass. Well, we'll go take up another quarter, so it's okay. Six-yard line. The Packers will begin their drive from the 26 now. The defense comes out in the nickel. Has the reception all alone. Macklin's tackle right at the 42. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific. I feel like Romo's actually had a really good game. I mean, not a lot of yards, but he's been really accurate today. First down at the 42. He's only missed a couple passes, I think. And one of them shouldn't have even been missed. Romo, I mean, not Romo. Uh, White just didn't even try and attempt to catch it. And Richardson's been called on. Just stuck his arm out when he wasn't even near it. He could have ran back a couple more feet and gone. Made this scene almost famous, ground and pound, and that's what's happened here today. They are just grounding the defense into shreds. Richardson's doing really good again. I mean, we've seen a running back who was putting up some big. I mean, 15 carries, 111 yards. That's really good. Receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running And some receiving yards. I mean, that's pretty good. 11 for 13, 125 yards. Nice catch by the receiver. I've noticed 
also, I know I stated like the difference between pro and all pro with the running game, but even like the passing game gets affected a lot. I like uh, with Manziel, I have like 300 yards a game, and with Bromo, you see I have like 150, 160 at most usually. Third down now. In those pro games, that's even with Marshawn Lynch rushing for like a couple hundred yards for me, 100 to 200 yards every game. So, I mean, you can, this, this actually really is a difference this year in difficulty. But, I mean, when you move up, I couldn't imagine playing on all Madden. I mean, I never do anyways because it's just, it's just so unrealistic because it's just pick after pick after pick. But, I mean, I, I honestly do feel like all pro is probably the most realistic setting to play on. Oh, bad idea. Glad that wasn't picked. Well, the defense has to be suppressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. Romo's got it in the gun. Damn it, Macklin. The ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the kids. Yeah, right. Well, we'll take the field goal. Didn't take up as much time that drive. Catch the football. Nice hit that time by the About four minutes, though. So, not bad, I guess. That was a good hold, good kick. Three points. Good job by the offense. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Davis going to run this one out. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Falcons get ready to start their drive. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Look at that, they're double blocking. Uh, ooh, nice, Matthews. You lit him up. But, I mean, they're like double team in Wilfork. I can't even get through with them to get a sack. It's like they don't want me to catch up to Cameron Wake. Conspiracy theory. Over again on second down. Split backfield here. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Taken down at the 27. The Packers have given up a lot of points this season. Well documented, but you look at their effort today, and it has been exceptional. Yeah, it's been a bad year. Oh, come on. We haven't given up that many points this year. It's about effort. They're getting that done. And really, here's what the coach has told the defensive They just said that we've had a – the defensive side has been bad this year. Are you kidding me? This defense is amazing. Except for that penalty right there, but That's what happens when you try why to why aren't they just so Tony Romo for the person being penalized? Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Has Jackson? Jackson is tackled down. Nine for nine. Jeez, must be nice having Vincent Jackson and Calvin Johnson. For the quarterback all day long, he has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Blue 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 Second and three. And it's You're lucky that wasn't anywhere near the receiver, McBride. Would have gotten burned again. What they do on this third I mean, you did get burned, but the throw was awful, so. Baldwin's in the slot. No, 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 no. Davis is going to secure the hand. Can't stop them here. But not until he picks up the first. Always important to know where you are in the football field. That time, a good job by the ball carrier. Just ekes out a first down. Nice job. 
Falcons are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. The Falcons have it at the 44. Great pass, great catch. Where is the coverage? Johnson is one of the best in the NFL when it comes to running routes towards the sideline. That time he gets out there and he puts that inside foot into the ground, breaks outside. The throw is on target. Good solid game. Just short of that first down mark. Second down, two to go. Has Jackson. McBride, you got to keep up with these guys. Come on. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. First down at the 32. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. The Falcons did a good job that time keeping the defense off balance. They throw the football, they pick up some solid yards now, and they can choose from one or pass. The Falcons will take the snap from the 25. Thank you, Matthews. Down after a gain of two. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy, he gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. The offense needs two yards here on third down after the completion. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Davis taking the handoff. So why, why can't we stop them this drive? Come on. This is where games are won. Yeah. An offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? First and ten. Oh, wow. I just messed that up. I could have had that him with Perry. Incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. The hit stick, I feel like, doesn't work right in this game for some reason. I don't know. It's kind of off. A long drive so far. Second and ten. Gets the handle here. Allen's brought down after picking up only a yard. Well, that time that run play in the red zone, it did not pull the defense. The offense gets overpowered and get a very little gain that time on the run. Play after play after play here on this drive. Third and nine. Allen's got it on the handoff. So they failed to convert on third down. Yeah, look at that. Good. We finally stopped them. Third today. Good. Hold them to a field goal. Drives it through for the field goal. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. The Packers are back deep, ready to Look at that, they're not going onside. I figured that they'd try and pull an onside kick out. Goodwin's going to test the coverage this time. Tries to warm Ooh, up that stiff ball. arm and then just getting laid out. First down on the way. Richardson lined up in the backfield. Romo standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. Almost got hit there before I got that off. Brought down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. The give. And straight ahead, Richardson. Thomas going to make the tackle. And the going to call the timeout here to stop the clock. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Here's the handoff. Richardson, right side. Ah, oh, if that stiff arm would have worked better, I could have been up the field even further. Surprise. They immediately call the timeout. Third down, following the run. They feed it to him one more time, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. Bad play. 
play call that time by the defense, Jim. You know, they, they can't give up the first down. They make a safe call, and they let the offense get the first down that probably seals the game. First and ten. Back to the ground. And Richardson's brought down, but not until he gives his team a new set of downs. Richardson's a running back after he yeah, I can't call an audible. He gets excited. He is just looking for his next carry. Takes the knee. I'd rather not take a knee. Play number six coming up on this drive. And I wouldn't mind getting a few more yards here. Second and 12. Throw to the left. Cook's got the catch and the first. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Richardson lined up in the backfield. Going back up top. Roddy White takes the reception. The Packers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Hey, how you can't call an audible on a fullback dive, or not a fullback dive, but QB Neal now. So stupid. They don't want you to now. Well, the lights were I didn't even get to pick my play. Was up for the oh, because we, we let the clock run down. Wow. Could have had another touchdown. Oh, well. I you know it's all about you. Right, uh, Romo, 15 for 19, 185 yards, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Well, they were today. Casey Keenum, 13 for 15, 137 yards, one and zero. Trent Richardson, 20 attempts for 125 yards and a touchdown. Niall Davis, 6 for 22. And the rest aren't even worth mentioning. Calvin Johnson, 5 for 76 and a touchdown. He should probably have about, you know, 20 yards. Miles Austin, 4 for 55, zero touchdowns. Roddy White, 3 for 50, one touchdown. Vincent Jackson, 3 for 28. Jared Cook, 3 for 34. Jeremy Macklin, 3 for 27. Brent Selleck, 3 for 21. And Niall Davis, 2 for 12. And Trent Richardson, 2 for 9. And we don't care about blocking, really. Earl Thomas, 12 tackles in total. Who had sacks? I don't think we had. Jared Bush had that one sack. And Quentin Coples had that one sack. But other than that, there were no interceptions, no sacks. It wasn't a very big defensive game, really. I mean, it was because the score was low. But, I mean, there were no sacks, no interceptions. I mean, kind of disappointing that they didn't get any of those sacks with Will Fork. Hopefully Cameron Wake didn't get too many. Because if he did, it's going to be har harder to uh, uh, try and take the lead. We'll advance the week, and we'll go see how many sacks he ends up having. He's at 20 right now, so. Advance the week, ready to advance. We are facing the 9-4 and four Bills next week. Wow, that's a good record. Ranked 1-3, and three. damn. Wonder who's on their team. He had four sacks last game. Damn. Well, I don't think we're taking that lead. Not without Will Fork getting any sacks last game. Well, that's a shame. Well, guys, it's been fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.